Hey guys, at BWC Flies again. Um, we're gonna whip up a uh, really good still water um, emerger or slash dry pattern. Um, it works amazing um, on those days when there's a flat glass out and fish are rising out in the middle. Um, those fish are really hard to catch a lot of the time, but this one's um, had success for me. Um, so I'll tie it in 18 today, but 18s, 20s, 22s, 24s, 26s, um, tie it down. It's a super simple pattern, it's four materials. Um, so we'll jump into it now. Yep, so we've got our, so we've basically just got our curved um, hook there. It doesn't really bother me what hook you tie it on, as long as it's got a slight curve, um, it's fine. So I've got some red threads um, in 8.0 today. Um, so we'll just start laying down a thread base. Um, this is a flight, doesn't matter. Like, think of it again as a chassis, um, so you can, tie the body out of whatever colour you want, the wing out of whatever colour you want, um, just to match the midge in your lake or your area. Um, so today I'm gonna to tie it with a um, little, um, tiny bit of flashaboo um, as the rib. So we'll wind in our rib. So we'll bring that down the shank like so. I like to just give it, go slightly into the curve. We'll just start to build a bit of a thread body there, like so. So we basically come all the way up and then go down like three quarters of the way, then come back up. Then we'll go down half the way and then come back up. And that's pretty much it. So that's all we want the body. It's a little midge pattern, so we don't want um, a heap of body. Um, so we'll <coughs> wrap in our um, Flashaboo rib here. So that's Flashaboo in the smaller size I can get. Uh, it's a really thin piece. I'm just gonna paint it with um, super glue before I start wrapping, just so it um, sticks to the red and thread and when the first fish eats it, it doesn't just shred it and come all undone. So we'll just start to wind that up the body evenly like so. Now, I'm not actually sure whether this fly already exists. Um, I just sort of made sense to me in my head, but someone might have already tied it. Um, but it's uh, it's so simple, you'll see why it's probably out there already. Um, bear with me one second. There it is. So basically for the wing, uh, we're just gonna use CDC. So again, with the wing color, um, you can basically use um, whatever color you want your wing to be. Um, CDC puffs, or if you've got an uh, implement to stack CDC, then use that. So I've stacked mine already, I've got it here. So I'm just gonna transfer it to my thumb and forefinger like so. I'm just gonna snip that excess off to get those fibers all squared away nicely. So I'm just gonna bring my thread back a couple of mil from the eye there. I'll sit my CDC on top, take a couple of loose pinching wraps, like so. And then I'm gonna cinch that down. So you see I've got a tiny little thread head there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a couple of wraps behind my CDC, like so. Just to get that wing to pop up a bit. We still want it laid back slightly, but not sort of touching the shank, so we'll just just build that up to get that wing to stand. And maybe I might throw one more on there, like so. So now we're just gonna trim that wing down to the actual length we want. So I would like to get quite short, it's basically just a little puff like that. And it sort of sits at like a, like a triangle at a 45 back on the hook. So that, when it's fished, the tail should be just sitting in the film um, under the surface, and that CDC should be just sitting in the surface meniscus like a, a midge that's trying to escape its shark. So um, to finish it, we'll just throw a little thorax on it. So again, for me, it's always Spectradub 46. We're gonna take the most, most minute amount. It's not much at all. 
probably six fibers there in my hands. So I'm just gonna lay that on. When I dub, I like to just turn my vise sideways like that just to get rid of the knuckle of the um, the vise because I've got pretty big hands. It just gives me a bit more space to work. So it's a good tip if you've got big hands, you can sort of just lay that vise over. So I've just built a tiny little um, head on that. Might actually just go a fraction more just to cover the last little bit of that thread. Right, and then super glue and whip finish to finish it. And then it's simple as that. So I normally will fish this um, in a team of three as my point fly or my second dropper. So I normally have um, uh, like a cider fly, something bright on the first dropper. And that's my, it's almost like an indicator on the water. And then this can will be fished like in the meniscus or if it drops below it fishes just as well. But um, that forward fly allows me to side it. So it's almost like fishing a dry, dry dropper, which I do a bit, so. Cool, there it is there. I'll give it a slow turn for you. Super simple fly, but when those fish are, when the uh, lake's glassed out and the fish are sipping in the middle, it's a really effective fly to get and eat.